A National Liver Awareness Month in October encourages people to act early in preventing liver disease. Risk factors include chronic viral hepatitis, obesity, alcoholism, as well as poor lifestyle choices. But there is hope. With early detection, a patient can double his or her survival rate. And joining me now to speak about this is the head of academic committee, Rotract Club of the Lagos State University College of Medicine, Shongo Sonya Botemi. And good to have you join us. Yeah. Now let's talk about um, liver cancer because I mean, there are a lot of cancers, but it does look like um, this is quite, uh, let's talk about how, how, what is the rate of, of um, liver cancer amongst just generally among people in the world? Okay. How serious is this kind of cancer? Okay, um, basically looking at statistics um, in 2018, a lot of people infected with liver cancer are majorly from the risk factor, majorly from hepatitis B and C. About 260 something thousand people in the world. But alcoholism so also 20, takes. 2018. Yeah, as a 20, 2018. And alcoholism is a major risk factor as well. It's like the second risk factor after um, hepatitis. And that was about 230,000 um, people being um, infected as a result of alcoholism, chronic alcoholism. And majorly, if we streamline it down to Nigeria, about 13,000 people died from liver cancer. Liver cancer is not, you know, I feel awareness is very, very important. And in this case, it um, boils down to the fact that, you know, if 13,000 people can die as a result of liver cancer, and that means we, we don't aware people enough, we've not educated people enough about this cancer. And majorly, we need to let people know about hepatitis B and C virus, majorly, because hepatitis B virus, I feel, NGOs, they should work more and the government should partner with NGO more in um, to make sure that there is free tests for people so they will know their um, hepatitis, uh, what's it called, hepatitis level, you get. And another thing is government should make um, vaccination very, very, very affordable for people. You get, if vaccination is affordable for people, there won't be any fear to, to want to get vaccinated. And Lastly, I would implore majority of NGO because I can, uh, I myself, representing Rotary Club of Lassocom, my club alone has partnered with an NGO, uh, Drive Initiative, in making, in making sure that there's a free screening and what, and a subsidized um, vaccination for people. And we screened about 200 people and vaccinated about 190 people because 10 people were positive then. So that's what um, NGOs can do. And from what you say, if 13,000 people die annually from this, vi from this cancer, yeah. then it, it is something that we should take seriously. Yeah. So are there stages of prevention? What can people do to prevent uh, um, having this kind of cancer? Okay, exactly. For as, uh, as for liver cancer, I would implore people that, especially the chronic alcoholic um, people, I, I, I would actually implore them that they should reduce their intake of alcohol. And another factor is obesity. You know, we're taking food that, uh, uh, that is actually too, that has a lot of fat content. I would implore people, you know, they check their diet. That's another thing, low fat level. And again, that, um, diabetes, type 2 diabetes is another uh, major risk factor. So increasing sugar level and all should also be reduced. Is there a gender perspective to this? Do we find that uh, maybe more men have it, more yeah, women have it most? What's more the gender male to female. More male to female. Yeah. Why do we have it? In male. That's as a, as a result of epigenetic mutation. We don't need to move a lot of stuff. Epigenetic mutation is mutation generally. For men? For men. Um, does it also include lifestyle choices for men? Yeah, everybody. Lifestyle choices, uh, lifestyle choices for everybody. Everybody, both male and female gender. So what can men, if, if men are, are, are having um, liver cancer more than women, so what can men do? Let's focus on prevention for men now. Okay, basically, I would actually implore them, you know, based on belief that a lot of men takes more alcohol than females. So I feel it is the alcohol intake and it has to be reduced. It boils down to that fact. Just basically lifestyle change, reduction in alcohol. Yeah. Um, Shongo Soya, Botemi, thanks for talking to us. Well.